How do people remember things? Memory is a very intriguing part of human being. It is a chain which connects our past to our present. It is not tangible. It is a process of remembering things. Many people in the past believed that in brain there is a tiny filling cabinet full of individual memory folders where information is stored. However, today experts believe that memory is a complex brain-wide structure. Memories are not just made up of things you experience, but also your ideas, dreams, and knowledge. The process of memory begins with encoding, storing, and retrieval. Encoding. Encoding begins with perception. Now say you were riding a bike and you fell down because you saw a spider. At that moment, you experienced quite a lot of emotions. This memory either gets passed on to the long-term memory or it gets deleted from the brain. In the long-term memory, a part called hippopotamus, sorry, <laughs> did you just hear hippopotamus? Well, it is hippocampus. Hippocampus which brings together all the different sensations experienced together and make it into one memory. To encode a memory in the brain, one needs to pay attention. Because we cannot pay attention all the time, we don't remember everything. After the memory is created, it needs to be stored. Second storing. There are three ways to store a memory. First, in the sensory stage, then in the short-term memory, and ultimately in the long-term memory. A memory is stored in different parts of the brain. But how does one event stay with us for a long period of time in the form of a memory? Here's how it works. The event which occurred passes through neurons to a short-term memory. The nerve cells connect with other cells at a point called synapse. Synapse is a gap between two neurons. All the action in our brain occurs at synapse. Third, retrieval. When we want to remember something, we retrieve the information on an unconscious level, bringing it into our conscious mind at will. Brain is a very interesting part of the human body and still needs to be discovered. We still do not know many things, but with the current knowledge we are able to make educated guesses. Thanks, Thanks for watching. If you like this video and found it interesting, don't forget to subscribe for more fun and informative content. See, See you next time.